My name is Scott. I'm an actor. An ordinary toothbrush. You brush your teeth, but I brush my backyard. An athlete. A performer. A teacher. But most importantly, a kinesthetic learner which means I learn best by doing hands-on work involving whatever skill I need to learn about. Ever since I was a wee little lad, I've been fascinated by innovative technology, and I've wanted to create a way to bring my ideas for new, innovative technology to life. When I get to college, I want to study business administration, and then open a technology firm in the state of Washington. In order to attend college, however, without going into debt, I needed to make it easier to afford. My senior project, therefore, revolved around completing various scholarships in order to lower the amount of money that my parents and I will have to pay for college. My goal was to raise $5,000 for my college fund, and I set out to apply to roughly 20 scholarships in order to raise that sort of money. I had originally planned to raise $10,000, but then I realized something. I was crazy. That would take much more time than I had available to me. It was a tough job. It required constant essay writing, taking quizzes, filling out forms, getting letters of recommendation written, and the worst thing, clicking boxes. But I managed to complete 22 scholarship applications, eventually raising a grand total of $4,000 from my college fund. This was a triumph, and this money will help me not only pay tuition, but help me live comfortably as I'll have more money for food, entertainment, and life. According to Weiss, I have significant interests in fields revolving around business administration and public administration based off of my interests. I am also a solid leader and can influence others and a creative, artistic person. I applied for the Mel Creek Business Scholarship and other scholarships like it, revolving around business, administration, and writing ability. I specifically tried to apply for scholarships that utilize my strengths and interests, so that not only would I have the greatest chance to win, but I would also have fun applying for them as well. Here's my proof of evidence for the AFSA scholarship. Here's an essay I wrote for a scholarship. Throughout this process of applying for scholarships, I felt like I should find a way to make my scholarship applications stronger. Though my SAT and GPA are excellent, I am not that special of a student. I have never really faced any sort of setbacks in my academic career or extraneous circumstances that I've had to overcome. Most of the time, I've only had to focus on something that I like to call LMFAO. Life, Music, Family, Academics, and Occupation. LMFAO summarizes my life values. I needed to find a way to make myself more appealing to scholarship organizations. Because of this, I had to research strategies on how to approach scholarships and how to structure scholarship applications to give myself the best chance to succeed. I had to go to various websites to even find different scholarships, like Scoop It, and eventually, I learned that showing a dedication and passion for a specific craft is what scholarships enjoy. SAT and GPA only mean so much. A lot of what scholarship programs are looking for revolve around the dedication that you demonstrate to a specific craft. Therefore, I made sure to include my participation in band and swim team, each of which I participated in for four years, as a large part of each scholarship application. This was an adjustment I had to make, as, though I was applying to various scholarships around the nation, I felt they need to give myself an edge over other students, an edge that could not be provided from GPA and SAT scores alone. After high school, I planned to attend Western Washington University in the fall to study business administration and dabble in computer science as a minor. This is a different college than what I had stated on my five-year plan. I had planned to attend University of Washington, but was waitlisted, leading to me to make backup plans at Western Washington University. As UW is my first choice college, if I am admitted off the waitlist, I will attend the University of Washington, where I will study the same subjects and simultaneously participate in the Husky Marching Band. After earning my bachelor's degree, I will work on furthering my business as a developer and computer scientist, hopefully expanding it to bring in most of my income. Hopefully, through my studies at the university or Western, I will be able to create and mold a business into a larger technology firm such as Microsoft or Apple. And I've held down a job as a YMCA swim instructor for two years now and have created a resume in order to find higher paying jobs in the future. With this information and this experience from this senior project that I've worked on, I know that I'll be successful wherever I go.